Howdy, it's me, and in this episode of our series, we Regon Na find out why Agusha in Texas was more than just a drilling success story, it was the turning point for an entire industry. So stick with me as we uncover how rotary drilling changed everything after 1866. Now, by the late 1800s, oil was in high demand, but traditional drilling methods were slow and inefficient. Enter rotary drilling. This innovative technique used a rotating drill bit that ground through rock layers instead of relying on the up and down motion of percussion drilling. In 1866, inventor Peter Swigert patented a key improvement to rotary drilling technology. His rig could rotate at various speeds, making it faster and more efficient than previous designs. Though it took a few decades to catch on, this breakthrough set the stage for a new era in oil exploration, and soon the industry would prove its worth on a Texas hilltop. In 1901, a rotary drilling rig was put to work on Spindletop Hill near Beaumont, Texas. After drilling to a depth of around 1,000 feet or 305 meters, they struck oil, and this wasn't just any ordinary well. It was a massive gusher that shot oil over 150 feet into the air. To give you a sense of scale, that's about the height of a 15-story building. This incredible flow rate of 100,000 barrels per day was far greater than anything seen before and it completely transformed the oil industry. This marked the beginning of the Texas oil boom and the rise of the world's first true oil giants. Major companies like Texaco, Gulf Oil and Exxon, originally a subsidiary of Standard Oil, traced their roots back to this moment. Spindletop proved that rotary drilling was not only more efficient, but it allowed for deeper wells and faster development of oil fields. It opened the door to a new era of energy exploration and production that would shape the 20th century and beyond and all because someone had the vision to improve upon existing technology and take it to the next level. Hey, quick fact. The spindletop gusher flowed for nine days without being capped. That's almost a week of uncontrolled gushing, spewing an estimated 900,000 barrels of oil into the air. It was an incredible sight to behold, but also a testament to the power of nature. In the next episode of our series, We'll dive into the beginnings of offshore drilling, the rise of hypershore drilling rigs, and the birth of global oil giants in the 20th century. Be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And if you want a downloadable PDF of the full series so far, let me know in the comments and I'll send it over right away. Thanks for watching, I'm your host. And remember, every giant gusher starts with a single drop.